Alright everybody, I hope you guys are feeling fired up for this one. Um, I actually didn't turn on any lights here. I want to do some dark fishing today. Uh, it's actually very early in the morning here, so you might actually see some changes in the light uh, over the next hour or so. Um, I wanted to do a video where I'm actually doing something chill for about an hour. I want to go around, do some fishing, and that's all we do. That's all we do. I don't know very much about this game. You can see I'm level 15, so I've done a little bit of stuff here and there, but overall, um, I, uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> I, I don't know very much about this game. Uh, it, it is highly popular out there, and if you enjoy this, then sure, we can go ahead and do some more. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. My girlfriend doesn't get it, but anyways. Okay, so, uh, I know that there's this one spot where I can go to, uh, where we can do some interesting, uh, fishing here, so, uh, let me just open up to my ships here. I don't have anything speci <laughs> specific yet. I could get the bass boat or the hovercraft. I mean, I have enough money. I have enough cash -a I might want to go for the speed boat here, because I saw that in, like, one of these tip videos, where, uh, that you can... Uh, you know speed around uh, with that speed boat, so I'm thinking about that uh, So that's gonna be my first goal uh, getting that 15k and For that I will go to a specific spawn point that I'm gonna show you now, of course um, If I can find it again uh, where you can get rays like manta rays or something um, and that shall, uh, you know, uh, let me see. Yeah, Roslet Bay. That's exactly it. This is a good place for beginners. At least it was for me. So I'm going to go to the Roslet Bay. And there's some very nice spots. And you can usually spot these spots. Oh, my God. That word. <laughs> you can usually spot these spots uh, with, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of people c catching a lot of interesting stuff. And I'll show you that in a second if you haven't gotten there yet so just you know relax you know chill there listen to this you know but while even playing fish probably you can uh throw on these episodes i i've never made uh, a longer video than like 15 minutes or so on this channel so i wanted to just like kind of like crack the code here with an hour i i've never done this so i don't even know if i have the uh, the power to speak for a whole hour, you know, sometimes I might be a little bit more silent It depends on uh, what is happening in that moment. So as you can see here, look at that perfect parking <laughs> Perfect parked perfect parked surfboard, right? <laughs> I mean take a look at this, you know, I was going all the way here with a surfboard So you can see all of these flags here that you can see right here Rosalind Bay perfect um, and this is usually uh, a good place to start off. Uh, so there's two things that I want to get done in this video if I can One of them is get a fish radar because that is always good to have you know to see what is where and where can you get stuff So uh, that is really really good and on the other side I would like to get that speed bolt That's quite a lot of money that I have to farm together here as a beginner with with a steady rod so to speak so, uh, yeah, it's going to be definitely an interesting uh, one. So let me actually see if I have any bait in here. So I'm going to go into the shot. Oh, wait. Oh, fossil fish. What is that? Limited bobbers. That's actually quite dope. Uh, makes me want to spend some money. I don't know. Do you have them forever? Or is it like something that will go away? Is it, it's probably cosmetic, right? That looks nice, though. Looks really, really cool. It's kind of cheap as well. But it is cosmetic, I think. Not 100% sure, but... Uh, yeah, anyways, okay, so uh, barber pack 10 cosmetic barbers. Yeah, and barber enthusiast title. That's pretty cool I actually didn't get anything um, Of these uh, cash up items yet, but if this episode is going to be you know, I have a few hundred people or so watching I don't know. Well wait, I'm, I'm, I'm fishing on the stone rock uh, then yeah, then I will probably get them at one point Okay, so uh, I guess I have nothing all right. Let's go into uh, it's not the shop It's the menu that was Wait, no, it's not the menu. It is the equipment bag. There we go. So we have a few in here. Um, preferred luck. That's actually pretty good. But I heard that universal luck is supposed to be really good as well. This one has preferred luck. 300. That's pretty good, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff. So I might be wasting something valuable. And you guys are going to be like, no. But I don't know this game. So there you go. So let's do a perfect throw. Now with the shaking, I, I'm not so sure if that actually speeds up the process of actually catching something, but I don't like to like rush these kind of things, so I'm just gonna chill click it. I'm not gonna, you know, be sitting here going all crazy with this. <laughs> 
so yeah you can see lights actually coming up right now the sun is coming up it's very early in the morning for me because i usually wake up very early around 5 to 6 a.m oh we got something here so let's see whoa this one's oh wait this one might be something good though right let's see oh i'm terrible at this so i have to get better at this whoa whoa, 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 whoa. so you might be okay what what is that Oh, a Dumbo Octopus. That is something legendary, as you can see here. That's nice. I think that's good, yeah? Because other people have these as well, as you can see here. Dumbo Octopus. Huh, interesting. Okay. That's actually a good start. That's a great start. It even, you know, the Dumbo Octopus even shows up in the chat, so I guess that's good. I don't know for how much we can sell that guy, though. But certainly going to check that out in a second. Uh, today is a new day. Yeah. That's like kind of what, yeah, today's, you know, do. Um, I have actually gotten some rays or whatever they call. Is it, uh, ray? I don't even know. Do they, do they change? I don't know. I don't know if they change or not, but, um, yeah, certainly really good spot to fish. You can see all of these, uh, flags here and people, you know, fishing. So I always start off with uh, a little more clicker like this. And then, yeah, that's good. That's so much better. That was a perfect, perfect way. If, you, if you've seen that, that was so good. Nice way of uh, catching some fish. Okay, so shaking. I'm not so sure if it actually increases your, um, your pull or if you get, uh, I don't know, if it like increases the speed or something. I haven't really looked very much into the game. Uh, but, you know. It is what it is. I, I enjoy it. We still have two truffle worms, so if we could get something uh, here, that would be nice. Another thing that we could sell for a little bit more cash. I don't know how much the octopus is going to give us, honestly. Might actually make us rich. So I can finally get that radar. <laughs> Oops. Okay, that was almost. Yeah, yeah, almost. That was still not too bad. But when I get these clown fishes, you know, I'm always quite quite sad. You know, because, yeah, you want to get that. You want to get that big fish roni Anyways, though, I do like the chill aspect of this game. I gotta I gotta be honest. I, I like the chill aspect of the game. Uh, but sometimes, and I tried that, I think it was about last week or so. Um, you know, because I get ADHD, I'm usually very hyperactive. Um, I, I was fishing, and after, like, five throws or something, I got kind of bored. And I kind of want to overcome this with this uh, new content idea that I have here right now that I mean you don't always have to be super hyperactive to make these videos sometimes chill content is gonna do as well and I just want to test that if you guys kind of dig that going out doing a little bit of fishing here whoops that was my mistake a little fishing a little talk because I've heard from the past that some of you uh, watch the videos uh, just while playing the same game that I'm playing so for example, Blade is Rebirth, that's where many people, you know, just tune in here on the channel and watch until, you know, when I play. So that's very chill, that's very dope. So I wanted to give you that longer episode. Uh, again, I haven't made a video over 15 minutes, I think, on this channel, so... <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, ooh, this one's this one's gonna be a tough one, though. Like, why, why is he, why is you so strong, bro? Oh, sometimes, sometimes you can just... Uh, you have to go with it, okay. Wait, all of that hustle for a butterfly fish? Huh. You are interesting, sir. Anyways, I want to see what that octopus does. So let's go Let's go uh, to the selling guy here, to the merchant. Yeah, you can see some people fishing up here. So I heard that this over here is good and over there at the cliff. Uh, people are quite happy with their catches. But overall, I would say the Roslet Bay is not bad. Okay, so let's sell the inventory first of all. You know, I always wonder when you sell... Oh wait, I have a fish radar? How did I get that? No way. I have a fish radar. I must have bought it. Where did I get that from? Wow. I didn't know I had this. Oh, I know now. Because I did buy the starter pack. Oh, I lied to you guys. It just came back to me into my head. Uh, I did buy the starter pack. 
Mm, yeah, I remember that. It was like 99 Robux or something. It wasn't much. Wow. I'm not quite awake yet, so you'll have like a lot of this going on. Uh, okay, so I do have the fish radar. That's that's actually pretty good news. Uh, let's go and sell that. <laughs> this guy looks so funny. I'd like to sell this. 450 only. I, I gotta be honest, I expected a little more. Now there's these um interesting uh, treasure maps. Right, I have visit Forsaken Shores to fix the map for all coordinates. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about this. Like, I have no idea how this works. <laughs> Does the like? Can you actually find coordinates with the like? Do I actually really have to go with this thing up here? Wow. Okay. Anyways, oh, that's actually pretty cool here. Okay, so. Let's go back and do some more fishing, shall we? I might actually be getting some more bait. How much do they cost again? I think you can uh, get bait right around here. Wait, close the backpack. Uh, right around here is about 100. 120, that's fair sometimes, I guess. Does it show which ones I got? Bait crate. Okay. Okay, so it's also kind of like on the... I'm gonna go down to 13k. Like, let's go one more. Okay. And then we have a lot of bait crates, so let's just open them and see what we can get. Okay, super flakes sounds good. Uh, let's go in here. Where is them? Oh, seaweed. Preferred luck. Okay. Insect. I mean, I guess all of this stuff here is better than nothing at all. Look at that. Universal luck. That's good. Let's use that. Okay, so we're gonna go back onto this spot here, and whoops, Allah, there we go. Ah, back at it, everybody, doing a little shake in here. Again, I see sometimes people having so much cash. These guys are going so crazy. I'm kind of like trying to get like enough cash, but getting the first 100k is so difficult. So, so difficult. I gotta be honest. Anyway, so what has been new in my life? I mean, I got that diagnosis with my head thing. I mean, one of them. They're not entirely sure if that is actually causing my pains and stuff, but um, it's certainly something. Uh, you know, having a cyst in the brain, I guess, is not really, not really the most <laughs> positive thing. Oh wait, silver Dumbo octopus. Okay, what is that? I caught a legendary 4 kilogram silver Dumbo. Let me see what that looks like. Oh my god. That's the same as the other thing. It's just... Let's go and sell that. I want to see how much that actually brings to me. Is there different selling spots? Now, I don't know if, if there's like different selling spots and stuff where you have to go and make more money out of it. I have no idea. Alright, so let's go. Yeah, I would like to sell this. How much are we getting? <gasps> 1,400. I can buy the rapid rod. Would that be worth investigating? Uh, you know, I think people said that. Yeah, it's not. But hmm, I mean, maybe some. Maybe it's better than what I got now. Where's the other one? Is it just this one? Oh, there it is. Rapid rod. Can I see the stats? It has minus twenty. Minus 20% and uh, luck and minus 20% resilience. Hmm. I don't know if that's worth it though. Sacrificing 20% of luck for this. Hmm. The lure speeds look sick though. I mean, how much does mine have? Why do I always click up there? Uh, okay, so where's me? Uh, Fisher's Rod? No. There it is. So. Lure speed 60% Or is that is that minus 60? Wait, how much is this again? Let me go and see Ah, I got minus 60% that is not so good is it? Look at that Whoops So oh, okay, so you can get a lot with it with a steady rot Resilience and luck is pretty good, but the lure speed is like 
Damn, that's bad. This one's max 100k, 600k. Mm. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You can get so much bigger fish with this one. It, it just feels better. Uh, and the luck, you know, too, but... Do you really want that? I mean, Rosalie Bay is such a good place. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna switch it around. I'm gonna go for this place. Like, people talk about this spot right here to be really, really good. So I'm gonna go and stick around here for for a while. Okay, so let's do some shaking. Is there reason with the lure speed? Um, the, the time I'm pressing shake, is that the lure speed? I think so. Because I already noticed that it sometimes is very, very slow until like something bites. You can see me just chilling here for forever, basically for ages and just nothing happens. <laughs> As you can see right now. Okay, so... Okay, whoa, 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 why, why are you pulling so hard? What, what's going on? Oh, ooh. That's a, that's a tough one. I hope it's gonna be good. Whoa, that's the toughest one of the video. No way. Oh, but it is legendary though, right? Albino Crown Bass. Hmm. That's pretty cool. That was a that was a pretty good one. That's another legendary. Uh, this video is filled with legendaries. Last time I was fishing, I didn't even work close to getting legendaries, but I did get a manta ray. They are really good. They sell for so much cash. Like, you can't even believe it, man. I just don't know if that is like hindering me with the, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the, the steady rod seems good because you, you can go above a certain amount of, you know, uh, fish that you can c catch with it. It just takes longer and, you know, minus 60 or 70% or whatever I had that, that is kind of, kind of much, kind of mucho grande, right? But whatever, man. Oh, that wasn't a good throw. Do I still have bait? I mean, that's something else I need to be checking out in a second. If I still have bait. Yeah, well, I'll check it after this throw. Yeah, so, uh, the head thing. Um, you know, people ask me, like, my, I think my parents and, like, uh, you know, my people around me, they are more worried than I am, actually. Which is a little funky, like, everybody seems to be on edge because of this, oh my god, brain surgery this, brain sh surgery that, and I, I truly am not scared. It is a really weird and uh, surreal feeling. Oh wait, why is this electric? Ooh, look at that. That is funny, that's an electric clownfish. I've never seen that. I've never seen electric before. That's that's the weirdest thing in the world. How did I get that? An electric clownfish. How much does it sell it for? Anyways, yeah. So I don't. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm not too worried for some reason. I don't know. Uh, it would be just nice to get. I think if you're being uh, taught pain, because I've been having. Be, like, I have really big pain right now, but I've been having it for, like, almost two years now, so it's not... Um, okay, let's do inventory first. S 61, that's cute. Oh, wait. No. My electric clownfish was in that. <laughs> it didn't really <laughs> sell for much, but okay. I would like to sell this, please. How much? We 600. I can get the... Oh, magnet rod. What do we think of that from Terrapin? Is there a map in this game? Because this is something I've been wondering. Wait, where, f because where are these places? Terrapin? Pin? I don't even know where that is. Daniel used a sunnail totem to speed up the celestial cycle. I, you know, for me, the mutation surge. This is like hieroglyphic stuff. Like, I don't know what they're talking about. Like, you could, I mean, you could, like, show me Chinese words or letters, right? I mean, I like Chinese. People are great, too, I guess. I don't know. But I don't speak the language. 
You know, you could come up to me and speak Chinese to me, and I'd be like, yeah, man, yeah. But I don't know what that means. And it's the same with this game. Like, I see these things that, you know, events and celestial stuff, celestial stuff and I'm like, yeah, bro. Yeah, nice, nice. You started an event. I have no idea what they mean, so I'm just sitting here chilling for you guys, chilling for the sins. Uh, okay, so. Uh, yeah, this one's going to be a clownfish. I can tell you right now. What did I say? <laughs> I felt it on the rod. Hmm. Wee. Let's do another one. Okay, let's do another shake Roonies. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, anyways. I, I, I'm i not so scared of this stuff that's happening. I don't know. I guess if you have so much pain, you, you just don't... You, 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 you become a different human. I gotta be honest. Like, you become kind of like... Uh, very stale and cold like not emotionally cold because you know still Still like my people around me guys. Oh, that's a crate um, No, it's just just a weird situation man Just a weird situation and after some time you just go like okay, whatever a uh, common crate 8 kg what was inside it? Oh 51 That's not so good I mean, I wonder, I honestly, I wonder, how do people even make real money in this game? <laughs> I'm just wasting my time with this goddamn <laughs> rod in a, at this place at Roslet Bay, just chilling, just chilling here. Probably there's like a million things that are better to do than what, oh, he's also getting a crate. <laughs> Let's go, bro. <laughs> oh, I need to change my bait. I keep forgetting that. I'll do that after this one. Just remember me, okay? Oh, and he lost the crate again. Brother. Is he using the steady rod too, <laughs> by any chance? Okay, yep, we're doing good here though. Oh, alright. Another clownfish, brother. Don't like the clownfish fishes. I mean, I do like them. But it's just like, man, you guys. Uh, let's go with... Do I have universal luck? Yeah, let's go with shrimps. We're gonna go shrimp fishing. I wonder, like, if shrimp would make in a different sea or a different part of the water more sense than in, than others. Because, like, I don't know very much about fishing. I've been to... Let me tell you a story. Um, You know, I've been to... Like, when I was a kid, uh, a friend of mine, his name was Christian, actually. Um, A friend of mine and I, we went fishing. Like, he was into fishing. Like, from the get-go on, and I, I really couldn't give a damn about it. I gotta be honest, I I was like this ADHD kid that was just outside. So I didn't really, like, mind where we would go, just outside, just go somewhere. Whoa! Whoa, a nurse shark? 122.5 kgs, bro. That's good. That's a pretty big catch. Take a look at that. Oh, nice. Um... So I didn't really care, but I went outside. I just had to go outside. Not like with new kids now. Oh, the bait. Oh, wait, no, I did the bait. Um, so Christian asked me to go fishing with him. And I thought, yeah, man, totally, dude. Let's go and fish. And we started fishing. And the first 10 minutes went by, and I was super impatient, and I was like, why are we not catching anything after 10 minutes? And he just started to... Wait, is that like a snail or something? What is that in the water? Um, and... Looks like... What? A Luna angelfish? That did not look like... That looked like a snake, dude. Um, and I was super, 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 super uh, impatient. I was like, Doc, Doc, why are we not getting anything after like 7 minutes or so? And then he, he explained to me the process. Oh, Moonlit. Wait and value for the next fish. Nice. Um, and it, it ended up taking like four hours or so <laughs> until he catches the first thing. Because we were kids, you know, we didn't really know how it went. But he did catch something in the end. And he pulled, it, he pulled the fish out. And 
Then I looked at him, and then he's like, get, get the stone, get the stone, or the hammer or something. I'm like, oh, no, what, what are you going to do with the hammer? What do you mean? Oh, oh, look, oh, look. Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, I gotta, I gotta catch this one. This one looks like manta ray. Is that manta ray? Ah, uh, no, it's not. It's spine bone. What the hell? And he was like, get the, get the hammer or the, I don't know. He wanted to take the fish out, obviously, because you need to kill him, right? That's what people don't understand about, you know, going to fish. You actually have to kill him. In the end, I mean, obviously, you could also just like unhook them and throw them back, but he actually wanted to eat them because he is like, the, it's like one of this family. Like, do you know you have one of these friends that just like are always outside and like they catch things and eat things and stuff? So it was legal as well. Like, he had like these tools to check. So he was kind of like experienced, he just didn't catch much. And then he wanted me to take the fish out, like, hit him over its head. Like, that's what we did back in the day. I mean, don't forget, that was like 20 years ago. I don't know what they used today to, to kill them. Probably still the same way. <laughs> they were still probably smacking them on the head. I'm not really sure, but anyways. Um, so he wanted me to, t to kill it, and I was like, nah, bro. Ain't doing that. I couldn't. I just simply couldn't. I, I don't know why, man. Like, I couldn't. So he went over took the fit took the stuff I gave it to him and he hit him over its head didn't die the first time so he hit over the, over the head again and then then the second time or something I guess I don't know and that was my last experience uh you know becoming a great fisherman I just didn't like it didn't like killing the fish I, I mean I just didn't like it that was just me guys hated it so I never went back and the waiting and stuff you know I, I just didn't enjoy it very much um, but now we can do it in a virtual world named Roblox. That's awesome. I don't have to hit anybody over the head with a stone. So I guess <laughs> that's so much better. Oh man, I don't know, man. Such a wild ride. I don't know. I just like, I mean, you know, I'm one of these hypocrites basically that, that says like, I love animals, but I eat meat. Like, you know, that I'm one of these guys. I, I mean, oh, eel, eels, ugh, I don't like eels, man, I used to watch this, um, this program by, uh, you know, these survival programs like Bear Grylls or whatever his name is, and these survival things, and every time there was something about eels and leeches and stuff, ugh, I mean, I guess, like, if you, if you go on Google or something on YouTube, you find these videos of eels, they're kind of cute. Like, if you look at their face, but what I don't like is the snake shape. That's, that's the stuff that truly makes me shiver. I don't know, I don't like eels, but then yet again, if you look at their small faces, they're kind of cute. I mean, it's like that with every animal, like, or insects even. Like, have you seen, you gotta, you gotta go on, whoa. That's another big nurse shark. That's gigantic. I mean, how big is that? Let me, can I? <gasps> uh, this is by far. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I gotta take a screenshot for that for my thumbnail. I mean, what the hell, dude? This is probably the biggest. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is funny. No way. That's a great screenshot. I gotta save that. What the? <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Um, yo, that cut me completely out of my story. <laughs> I don't want to sell this guy. I I, I don't want to sell him. I want to keep this guy, but that's so big. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is like a whale. No way. Can you catch whales in this game? Anyways. Um, back to the story. So, here's one thing that I want you to look up. There's spiders. I know you guys don't like spiders. But there's like a close-up view of this one spider. And if you see that spider, 
you go like, oh, that's a sweet little spider. But then yet again, I don't want it in my flat. Don't want it near me. No way, Jose. Anyways, that is a gigantic one. What is happening? Did I save this on my desktop? I did save it on my desktop. That's great news. <laughs> Sorry if I just tapped out here for a second. Let's sell this. <laughs> I'm gonna sell it. Dead. I wanna have... You know what sucks? That it doesn't let me know first for how much it would sell. Because... Ooh, give me one second. Oh, this feels so good. No, oh, my God. Oh, you know, that is, oh, that was so much fun. Sometimes, you know, stretching. Oh, like that is so good. It feels like I haven't moved out of this chair in like five days. <laughs> oh, this is such a... Like, it doesn't matter what way I go, I could do, like, one of these strength poses. Anyways, uh, shall we sell it? I'm gonna sell it, whatever. And Let's go and sell it. Let's go, come on. 948 only. No way. I would have thought that would have been at least 3k. Where's my rest of the fish? Did I sell them already? Oh my god, I, I'm, I, this brain thing... Like, I'm losing it here. But I've been having a pretty good time on that on that cliff. Roslyn, bay brother. So good. Would love to have another manta ray. But honestly, getting 100k? Oh my god, I gotta be fishing all day for that. Like, oh wait, did I? Let's go into the... Yeah, equipment bag. We still have one shrimp to go, let's go. Another thing, something huge. I mean, can I even get to the 20k? Or like, I didn't did I? I didn't buy much. But you know, it is. Sounds like a drone outside. What the? Uh, I want to get at least to like 20k in this video. That would be nice, I guess. All right, we're pr pulling something here. Let's go. Oh no, that one seems like a pretty simple catch. Yeah, it's one of those where you just don't have to do much. <gasps> Another one? Another one of these guys? Wow. There it is. Yeah, this it looks a little smaller though. Okay. Let's go and use some of the other bait that we have. I'm gonna use minnow wait, resilience minus ten, I guess. Huh. I don't know if these things are so good. Ooh, what is this? Squid Aroonies? Okay. Let's do a little bit of squid farming. Let's go. Yep, that was a perfect catch. I actually promised you guys that we're gonna get some sun or sunlight. But I guess I was lying to you. There's nothing happening. I'm as dark almost as when I started, I think. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so what else do we have to tell? Did you guys know that I lived in Asia for a very long time when I was young? About 10 years almost, 7 years I think. Somewhere along those lines. I, I like to exaggerate. My mother told me like it was only 4 years and then it just happens that I go like 5 years, 6 years, 7 years and I'm back up to 10 years. No, I think it was like that, something like that. Like at least like 5 or 6 years. I don't even remember. I guess I had that brain thing back in the day. Okay, shaking, shake it, shake it, ooh, shake it. I used to love watching King of Queens. Now don't, like, I, I'll tell you why shake it got me to King of Queens. For anybody out there, you know, that's like, a, usually my audience is a little younger sometimes, if I even have an audience, probably don't, but if I had an audience, it's probably gonna be younger. You gotta watch The King of Queens. I love that series when I was younger. I love it, man. I still do. Oh, this guy is a tough one. Is that my last squid? I think that's my last squid. Okay, and there we go. Angelfish. Yay, with my last squid. Ah, uh, okay. So, let's do a little bit of seaweed. All right, a little bit of seaweed. Best, bestiary, best, di best diary, best, 
What? Bestiary or best tiary? <laughs> English is striking again. There is terrapin? No way, don't tell me that terrapin is the starting island. No way. How much did I did I catch in Rosalind? There's only one, two, three, four left, and then I have Rosalind like completed. Wow. Yeah, that is a nice idea as well. Finishing up on the stuff that I haven't finished. Huh. Yeah, that kind of <laughs> that sound. <laughs> yeah, I should start so like finish something what I started, man. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I guess these flags that are rising up, are they worldwide? And are they, obviously, they will be getting deleted, right? Man, I know nothing about this game. Usually when I go into making videos uh, on YouTube, I usually uh, do a lot of research on most of these games and I analyze a lot like Blader's Rebirth and stuff, you know, stuff like that, but... Huh. Yeah. Yeah, in this case, I don't know much about the fish. I kind of want to, you know, I do a lot of meta gaming. Uh, for the people who don't know what meta gaming is, that is basically you go on YouTube and you try to look for cheat, uh, not cheats, uh, I mean like tips and tricks and how the game works and stuff. That's meta gaming because you don't, you know, uh, find that out yourself. You basically have to go online to find a lot of stuff. And with this game, I, I think before even playing the first throw, I actually went on YouTube and looked for like some sort of a guide video to know where I'm gonna go. And that just got me basically a little started. I forgot like 95% of it, so I have no idea. Um, and I kind of want to keep it that way. Maybe my progress is slow, but I kind of want to like learn this game on my own. In my own pace, you know, with own, you know, chill time. Just shaking the rod. Oh no, that, nah. <laughs> uh, nah. Nah, bro. Anyways, so. Hexed angelfish. Mm-hmm. Now that looks interesting. Why is that hexed angelfish? Why? What the? <laughs> it glows like that? Alright, I'm gonna sell this. I wanna see how much that goes for. It's hexed. It 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 has the power of the <laughs> the, the Scarlet Witch. Why am I so tired? Okay, so. Let's see how much I can sell this for. Oh, only 81. That that wasn't... Uh. Alright, so I got this one done. Let's go and do some more inventory. Oh, 500, I guess that's fair. Do I still have bait? I, I think I'm gonna buy some more bait crates because... Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna spend some cash going down to like 16k, I would say. Yeah, that's good. And use those crates. Magnet, flakes, insects, seaweed, ba bagel? Wait, you can fish with a bagel? Or am I stupid? Wait, let me see. Is that an actual... No, it's not bagel, bagel, right? It's something else. Probably something fisher term. Flakes, warm. Maggot. Oh, I got the magnet. This is a bagel. But it's probably some some kind of a different bagel, like a fishing bagel. Preferred luck 200. I like that. Let's go and use that. All right. Did I? Yeah, I got the magnet. All right, let's go and do some magnet fishing here. Wee. I need to catch something real good, man, because I gotta I gotta you know get these crates back in. So I need to get back to at least 17k to get out of that because, oh. What did I just say there? Can you get like something really huge out of here? I, I got a huge manta ray uh, before here, but you can see I don't get him a lot. Like at all. Another crate? Um, But maybe that's gonna give us like a hundred coins or something. Coins? Like who am I? Why? Well, coins. Um, Okay, so that was the big common crate. I like that. 
Okay, can we select it? New fish unboxed. Wait. What fish did I unbox? Okay, well, I'm not so sure, <laughs> actually. Oh, a carp? A carp. A carp, isn't that... Goldini, Goldini from Pokemon. Isn't that a car carpador? 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 Alright, that's good, that's good, I guess. But it wasn't, it wasn't from Roslet though, was it? I think that was like some sort of a random drop, I would assume. Okay, shake it. By the way, yeah, King of Queens, I forgot to tell you. There's this episode where there's... Uh, because the King of Queens, the guy actually, he's like a delivery driver for, I don't know, UPS or something. Uh, or FedEx. Or, I, don't, I don't even remember very much. It was a while ago when I watched it. They had like a, a known name for it probably. And it's like a comedy, you know, a comedy. Oh, something hexed. Definitely something hexed here. Something magically... Hexed. Or is that just the the magnet? Oh no, there it is. Hex spinebone. And he keeps delivering to this one guy and <laughs> he always has like a towel around his waist because he always gets out of the shower when he takes these packages. And he has like a dog that likes to dance and so he dances as well. And he <laughs> and <laughs> the king of queens, the guy, Douglas. He always has to look down and he doesn't want the towel to drop and every time when he starts dancing the towel drops a little lower and he's like oh my god I can't deliver it to this guy anymore uh, because of this and that so he finds a stupid excuse to not deliver there anymore and he says that the poor dog is aggressive that's why he doesn't want to go there anymore but instead it was because he doesn't want it to see the guy you know dropping the towel and <laughs> and in the end there was like animal services coming there and trying to take the dog away from him because he said it was the dog and I don't know it's like a huge drama situation then and then he tells him the actual reason and then he's like oh, that's and you want to kill my dog for it it was I don't know it's funnier when you watch it <laughs> I can tell you I just love this series so much it's so good um, how many magnets do I have left one more yeah I, I don't know that probably didn't sound that funny when you hear it Oh wait, what do we got down there? Oh. Okay, can we can we can we take that? Yeah, easy peasy, right? Spine bone. You have used the last of your bit. Okay, spine bone. Every time it's a spine bone, it feels to me personally that it is a manta ray. But it's not. And I don't even know what is happening here. Okay, let's go and use some seaweed. Actually no, I want to use the minnow. It's actually pretty good. We have nine of those. That's nice. Shake it. Yeah, and he always kept saying shake it to the dog. Shake it. And then the dog was dancing and then the towel kept dropping. <laughs> oh, man. I'm such an easy mind when it comes to like that kind of comedy. It just has to be stupid. That's all I have to have. Honestly, I just got to sit there and watch stupid stuff. And animal videos. I love animal videos, cat videos, dog videos. I'm uh, very easily entertained when it comes to animal videos and dog videos. But they gotta be funny and kind and like light-hearted. That's the stuff that I wa watch. You know, it shouldn't be like anything cruel or stupid. Because you see that occasionally as well. Not on YouTube and stuff, but when you browse the internet, you kind of sometimes pass on stupid sides like that i mean back in the day when i was in school there's gonna be a lot of back in the day here because i'm 31 okay yeah 31 playing roblox games you know you can't tell anyone ever it doesn't matter how old they are to not play or enjoy some sort of a game you know so uh anyways yeah when you're young you know people pass these videos on the table and i'm not gonna disclose what kind of videos they are but they're usually not not very nice p uh, videos, and I used to hate that. I used used to hate these people. There's so many people out there that just enjoy watching, you know, these cruel, stupid videos, and I don't get it. I don't get it. I just simply don't understand it. It feels like that they're trying to compensate over something. Like, look at how tough I am. I can watch this 
while they're completely brittle inside of their soul. Every time when something like this happened, I was like, no, I'm not interested in that. Why would you even be interested in showing this to people? And there's just this thing. Oh, that looks like a snake again. Oh, uh, there's just this thing with, ooh, no. Ah, oh, my cast streak of 170. What was that? How was I supposed to catch this? That was strong. I, that was probably my best catch in the world. And then I... Yeah. Well. Anyways. um, So. I don't know. I don't know why people are interested in... First of all, sh watching it. And then second of all, showing it to other people. I don't get it. Something's wrong with these people. There's so many people like that. So many. Anyways. I mean, I guess there's like this shock value in it. I guess. I don't know. Damn, I'm kind of a little sad that we got that I didn't get this. I I was kind of oh my my whole streak I had a hundred and seventy something streak. Okay, I guess I'll take the new highest weight of the yellow box fish. I wonder I wonder how many people out there actually go fishing and play this game here. I would be interested to know. How many, like in percentage, it must be quite high though, right? Or has at least gone out with their parents fishing or their father or mother or whatever. I've never seen a woman fish, like in real life, like a w woman going out like, yeah, come on, come on boys, we're gonna pack them bags and we're gonna go and do some fishing. I've never seen that in my entire life. Like a mother that is interested in fishing never seen that ever like in 30 years of age like 30 years i've never heard a woman go like oh I'll, actually actually i have wait a second she was not a mother though but she was about i would say 22 and i was about 24 or 25 and we used to do i used to um work in nightclubs and i uh was supposed to do an apprenticeship and event planning and stuff that was before I got sick uh, and when I was doing that you have to go to school and stuff and I met this woman I mean I always say girl but it's not a girl it's like a woman right she's 22 so I met this woman and um, we got talking and she told me that she loved going out fishing with her boyfriend and I was like huh there's women out there that enjoy fishing. I thought it was like such a dude's thing, like where you go out, oh, I'm gonna crack some beers and stuff like that. You know, that's what I would have thought. But, hmm. Yeah, so she said she loved it. She said she loved it, going out, boyfriend, chilling there, having a few drinks and, you know, talk about like smack and then occasionally catching fish. Now, here's the reason why I don't do it in an adult life, because I don't like eating fish. Like, why would I be wanting to kill fish if I don't like eating it? I mean, yeah, you could catch and release, but that wouldn't really satisfy anything for me. Honestly, just sitting there waiting for a long time and then you catch this fish. You, you put this piercing into that fish's mouth and then, you know, that's it. I mean, actually, by the way, talking about piercings, I actually, when I was about, I think like 20... I pierced my friend's lips. I used to be totally in on that scene, like tattoos and like piercings and like, yeah, that was my world. I had long black hair, like this doesn't count here, you know, this is huge forehead, basically. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we used to go out there a lot and uh, just pierce friends. And I remember this one guy, he always came by to me, he was always like, Oh, he's a little crazy. He doesn't look crazy. Like, his, like he doesn't look crazy, but he... It was weird with this guy, because I pierced his lip, and we got it done. I did quite professionally, you know? I had all of the tools and uh, most of this stuff, and I knew how to do it for some reason. Like, I don't even know. I just learned... <laughs> I just knew how to do it. <laughs> it was weird. Natural natural piercer. Um, and I did that. And about... Hmm, let me say... 
About like three weeks later, he came back and he said he took it out. He, he needs to do it again. And he's done that like six or seven times. Times obviously I've done that for free because he was a good friend of mine. But he kept like, he said one time he lost it, the other. And then I was like, dude, do you enjoy this? Why do you come back like six or seven times? Why would you want me to pierce your lip for that much? Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, that was crazy. Oh my god, bull shark. Okay, another legendary. You saw the face out of the water. I kept asking him, dude, why? what do you enjoy about this? And I don't know. He said, nah, man. First time, I lost it. Second time, I didn't want it to have it. And I'm like, dude. Yeah, but I did it anyways. And then at the sixth or seventh time, I think he never asked me again. And he kept the piercing for a long time. I don't know what happened to him. I... Haven't seen him in like years now. I don't know if he still exists or where he's lurking around. Probably still getting the same piercing <laughs> for the for the twentieth time. So yeah, I don't know. Oh wait, I have no bait again. Jeez, Louise, we gotta get the bait out. Hmm. Darkened angelfish. I like that they have like these perks with hexed and darkened and all that sort of stuff. So, equipment bag. Seaweed, fine. Convinced me. Let's do some seaweed here. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Anyways, I wanted to go back to... Yeah, after this catch, because we're reaching the one hour mark, everybody. I've... I mean, just some of another... Like, this is one of those side quests that I wanted to do. I wanted to do this for a while. I'm gonna lay down, like, music and everything under it. An hour, bro. It's gonna be a long render, but... Once I got this done, I'm going to be uploading that and you guys you you guys will be the judge if you enjoy this kind of these stupid stories that I have for you guys. Um yeah, I want to go back and check out that other rod that I was able what that I was supposed to be uh, Whoa, whoa. Okay. So <laughs> let's go and sell these guys first here. I think it was quite I mean, I haven't reached 20k, like not even close. But, you know, sure. Why is there so much light going on over there? I want to check that out. Uh, sell the inventory. Goodbye. Boop. How much is it? Oh, we got a thousand though. That's good. And maybe if I'm lucky, the bull shark gives me another 1k. Uh, let's go and use that. Oh my god, that's a... 300. Fair. Fair. Why is there the light over there? I'm going to do some water skipping. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Jesus that thing. So let's go. Weep. Weep, weep. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, wait, there's this one of these guys. One of these things. Oh, I got it. I, I should be should be doing that. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. I want to go in there as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. We got the seaweed packed up here. Let's go and get grab some. I don't even know what you're... Oh, there's another one over there as well. Interesting. Got to get that surfboard out, though. I'm not gonna skip on a chance to uh, fish in that thing. Last time, I got something like really crazy. Look at how long this takes. Oh, there we go. Okay, that doesn't look like it's really a lot. Perfect catch, a mackerel. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, wait, what? Where am I? You can go inside of these things? No way. Nocturnal rod. Oh. Shall I get this? I'm so confused right now. I, I, whoa, whoa, that's cool, hello Delva, I would like to sell, oh yeah, where am I, is a good question to start this off with, I think I'm gonna get the nocturnal one, this is vertical, the greatest abyss, what, vertical is a simple fantasy hidden under, uh, wait, hidden fan, 
Sympathizing hidden under our world. Okay, how do I get out? You can use them to return your resting location. I sell conception conscious on the right. And you can... These things? Ah, for 400. No way. I'm going to get that rod, I think, because... Let me see. So, resilience and luck is great. Lure speed is only minus 10. Huh. Is that a good buy or is that not a good buy? I'm going to get it. Whatever. Sold. I bought it. You cannot stop me. Can I fish in here? Well, imagine I can just like throw my rod into here. Wait a second. I want to check that out. Ooh, why didn't I see this earlier? Uh, nocturnal rod. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh, that looks so cool. What? Let's throw something in here. <laughs> that would be so funny if I could actually fish something on here. But it doesn't work like that, right? Um, okay, so I'm in here. Got the nocturnal rod. Who's this guy? Ozel to Ozel to Ozel to Ozel to Ozel to. Is that all he says? All right, whatever. I'm gonna take a big jump. Do I die from like? There is some water down here. No way. Is that like? Oh, this this is such a cool place. Oh, you can get the conception thing down here as well. Let's throw one. I think I'm gonna do the next episode in here. I don't know if I'm gonna stay here though. If um, like when I reset or something, would be nice. Cause then I can make the next hour of fishing here. I want to see what kind of stuff you can catch here. Whoa! What the? How the hell am I supposed to catch that? No way I'm getting this. No way. What did I catch? Void fish mahi. That was so hard. What I, I had to be completely in silence for this. Wow. Yo. Guys. I mean... I mean, you guys probably already know what this is. I just, I've seen this for the first time. I mean, I don't know. I didn't know you can just jump into these uh, spinny things and then you're in here. That's such a cool concept. Oh, that's gonna suck now, isn't it? No, no, it's not. This one's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be chilling here for a while, guys, with a nocturnal rod. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I know that I can get there now, so I would just have to find these uh, water situations, right? Wow. Okay, that's so cool. What a cool ending to this. I mean, again, you guys probably already know what's up and like what what this thing is here. Oh, what am I? What do I have here? Okay, I gotta, I gotta get this one. I wanna know what I actually do have here. Uh huh, uh huh. What? The depths key? What is this? How do I keep this? Do I keep this forever? What? What is this? <laughs> Why? Why do I have the depths key? Uh, vertigo. Here, there it is. This key leads to the gates of the depths. Disco. What is this? Uh, I don't know. Gotta make them videos. Gotta, gotta do some research. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I, I don't know what the depths key is. I'm gonna figure it out. Uh. In just a second, everybody. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one. This is my first time making a, vi a video like this uh, ever. I've, I don't have a concept yet. 
uh, but I sure will work on one if you enjoy it. If you don't, then I guess that's going to be the last episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do want to support me, um, make sure to give it a like and a comment. That's all I ask for. I mean, I don't ask for anything at all, but uh, if you want to just like, you know, be nice, uh, then there, there there, you go. I don't know. I'm going to research all of that stuff now. I, I have to see what the depth key is. I, simple as that. Some metagaming for you. Anyways, <laughs> I'll speak to you soon. Bye.